Okay, guys, we're back to down the farm, and there's our newest baby goat that we had. And we kind of really not expecting her, because the mommy, believe it or not, not even a year old yet. She's only like 10 months old right now, the mommy is, which is her right here. Well, we didn't know until we looked it up. I guess a boy goat can get a female goat. As soon as they're a month old, I guess they're, they are they got all the stuff in them to get pregnant. And males can breed at three weeks old. We actually never knew that. Anyway, we had them on a pen together. Then we fixed the boys. Then about a month or so later, we realized her stomach was getting really big. And she's forming milk. And we didn't think she was going to make it. Or she thought the baby was, she's going to have a miscarriage with the baby or something. But she ended up having it. She's had this thing last night and came up here to give everybody hay in the barn last night, which I tossed a good old, big old pile in here to keep her and the baby warm for when it gets nighttime here in a little bit. But you can see, she's actually caring for it pretty good for being only not even a year old and a mother. She's doing pretty good with it so far. Actually, I wasn't really expecting that. There's the chicken room. You can see all the chickens walking around and the, and the goose. That's actually the baby goose that we had a couple years ago. Well, not a couple years ago, it was a, last year, we have a video on it too called Our First Baby Gosling. But that's her right there. Female, we know it's female because she already laid about three eggs so far this year. But they're not fertile because, the, of course, the males are running around, she's only goose in it by herself. She is half African goose and half white Chinese goose. She's actually a mix. Anyway, we got the little baby down here drinking. It's a little male. If you guys want to name it, again, leave it down in the comments below what you think a good name would be for this little guy. You can see the mommy. She's doing pretty good with it. I wasn't really expecting her to be that good with it, considering, she, it's like I said, she's nine year old. You guys expecting her not to know what it is and be afraid of it, because we've had a couple of good mom goats, mother goats, actually have babies, and they didn't want to care for them whatsoever. We had one have triplets, and one sadly ended up passing away, couldn't get the colostrum in time, and we didn't have the artificial colostrum, because we never really thought about milking the mommy goat for the colostrum at the time. And so one of hers ended up passing away, because she didn't want to care for it, and she's had plenty of babies before that. And we've had a goat, actually, that's had several babies, and she just had one and didn't want to care for it whatsoever, so we, we stuck bottle feeding it. So sometimes they just don't want to care for them for some reason. I don't know what caused them to do that. If we have, we've had a couple give birth to goats, and they don't, they'll just leave the babies right there. And they only want nothing to do with them. But she seems to be a good mother so far. She's wanting to drink. She's cleaned it off quite a few times already. And it's, yeah, it's like I said, I wasn't really expecting her to have a baby, so. I mean, you can see how small she is. She's still pretty small. And the baby, it's a good little size, really. Here's what I thought it was going to be. But yeah, she's... She's letting it drink and stuff. They ain't got to hold her down or ain't got to milk her or nothing to let the baby drink. But hold her down, I mean, just hold her back legs and stuff so she can't kick it. But it's getting it's getting a good little bit of milk right now. And here in a couple weeks, you'll, I'll get another video of it. And you guys might be able to see it bouncing around playing and stuff once it gets its energy and strength up. It's not even, it's not even, well, it's probably about 20, it's probably about 24 hours old right now. It's only probably about a day old so far. But it's like I said, she's doing pretty good with it. You see, it's all black. It has that little white spot on top of its head and little white ears. Can't even put some chicken wire right here so it can't squeeze through this hog wire. Also, this is just a big, big long 16 foot hog panel with all these things in between. That's what we make her goat pens out of. So you can see over here, we got the mommy and her two babies. This is lamb chop and chip and dip. Watch, she, these are actually her first babies as well, and she had hers earlier this year. You don't lamb chop. <laughs> now here's old Chip. Here's Dip. Meh, meh. It looks like her horn actually broke off. Yeah, it did. Huh. She must have got her head stuck in this wire or something and broke her horn off. I just noticed that. But they'll actually end up growing back. With, we've actually had goats break their horns off plenty of times and they'll grow right back. It's mostly ones that has the real small horns that breaks off. The ones with the great big horns, they usually don't break off or chip or nothing. But, yeah, that's not noticed that, but... We got dip, then we got chip, then we got lamb chop. Lamb chop. Lamb chop. See, she knows her name. It's like what? Lamb chop. Lamb chop. We don't lamb chop. Lamb chop. Lamb chop. 
Lamb chop. Lamb chop. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.